Welcome back downers. Today we're going to make some chicken thighs and cauliflower alfredo. Let's get it. All right, towners, start off this recipe here. We have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I went ahead and cleaned those up and then added them to our skillet, put down some oil and uh, placed in our chicken thighs. Um, we put in about six thighs into this pan. Um, if you need more, go ahead and do so. Um, feel free to season them beforehand or while they're in the skillet. We're just going ahead and just doing all while it's in the skillet to make everything quick and easy and simple. Uh, we're gonna be using today some of our Cooking with a Town 2 spicy seasoning. Feel free to season your chicken however you like with whatever seasonings. Uh, we're going with the spicy seasoning for here. Um, link in the description box below if you'd like to uh, get your own seasonings. But uh, you can also just use some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, crushed red peppers, lemon pepper seeds, a whole bunch of other seasonings just to mix combine together and season it up how you like. We went ahead and hit up both sides of the chicken thighs and then popped the lid on it over medium high heat. Let it go for about five to six minutes on each side. Uh, once we took the lid off, it had a lot of liquid in the pan. So we let it go on uh, for about two minutes on high just to reduce that liquid down. And uh, one, once the chicken was done, this is uh, how much oil that we had at the bottom of the skillet. So we just went ahead and kept all that in there um, for flavor, for one. Um, but there's a lot of... Uh, on or uh, I call it flavor bombs, all that extra seasoning at the bottom of the skillet. I went ahead and just scooped some of that out. You don't have to, but I wanted to uh, get most of it out because it was it was chunky and I wouldn't have broken up that well in the sauce. So uh, once we got that out of the skillet, we went ahead and added in some unsalted butter as well as our heavy whipping cream and uh, just mixed all that up, scraping down the sides of the pan to get as much flavor off from as much as we can back into the uh, Alfredo sauce. Once it came to a, a, a boil, we went ahead and added in all of our seasonings. We put in some uh, mozzarella cheese as well as, as well as some Parmesan cheese. Then we added in some uh, kosher salt, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. You really can't see that because it's the same color as the sauce, as well as some black pepper. Normally people use uh, white pepper just to keep everything the same color, but uh, you know, use what you got plus. Um, we didn't have any of that, <laughs> so we just used black pepper. Then went ahead and mixed and combined everything together. Uh, once we mixed all it up together, we then added in some cauliflower. This was we microwaved this while we were uh, cooking the chicken and making the sauce. This is uh, 24 ounces of cauliflower, um, steamed. Uh, we cooked that in the microwave for about six minutes, and uh, once it was soft and ready, we just popped that into our pan with our Alfredo, Alfredo sauce. Mixed everything together. Once everything all was well incorporated and came together, you're pretty much done at that point. Nothing else really else to do. You're just tossing uh, the cauliflower in with the sauce and you're ready to go. I went ahead and plated that up, uh, put down two chicken thighs along with some uh, cauliflower alfredo, then topped that off with some dish additional parsley for color. And, uh, you know, the taste on that is really minimal, but uh, this came out really well. Um, the cauliflower was nice, soft, tender. The Alfredo sauce coated it well and brought a nice saltiness to that. Chicken was cooked perfectly and um, soft and tender, juicy. Uh, great meal, quick, easy, uh, low maintenance. Popped everything together. And um, here's a close up of how our cauliflower looked. You can see the uh, Alfredo sauce coating well on the cauliflower and our chicken thighs. Go ahead and try this recipe out. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, hit us up in the comment section below. We always like to answer your questions and hear from you. Um, but as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, Thank you guys for watching.